It's mid-December and temperatures are often below freezing here in Zone 5, but there's still a lot to harvest from our Zone 5 garden. Today I'd like to invite you to join me as I gather today's harvest. I'll start today's video here in our hoop house, but I won't start our harvest here. The reason is I need to be very strategic about how I harvest at this time of the year. And the plants in here get more sun than any other part of the garden, and they also have the most protection. As a result, these plants are much more likely to live through the winter. So I want to focus today's harvest on areas of the garden where there's less sun and less protection. We'll start in the front yard where we're growing under a single layer of cover. Here in the front yard garden, we're growing lettuce, Swiss chard, and kale. And the Swiss chard's a little bit stressed, so I'll start harvesting that a little more to try to get as much of it harvested before it really gets cold. So far, it's only gotten down to about 18 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't that cold. This Arctic winter lettuce is really living up to its name. It's right here on the edge, and it's not showing any signs of stress from the cold. So I'll harvest some of that today, but I'll leave most of it because it's doing so well. I was really sorry to see that Bountiful Gardens is no longer selling seeds. That's where I got the seeds for this Arctic winter lettuce. Beautiful stuff. I'll leave the rest. This red lettuce is also doing very well for us. I think I'll just leave it alone for now. I've got more of this to harvest out back. And starboard kale is also thriving. But again, I think I'll just let the kale alone because it should have no trouble surviving the winter here in the front yard. Okay, I harvested some of the more vulnerable crops from the front yard garden. Now let's do the same out back. These two beds at this time of the year get essentially no direct sun and they're only protected by one layer of cover. So I want to harvest all of these crops before it gets much colder. Let's start here. Wow, I have to say I'm very impressed with this red lettuce. Again, this area gets no sun at all. And the lettuce is still doing fine. Not growing, but very little signs of stress. Even so, I don't expect it to last much longer, so I'm going to harvest entire plants. I plan on making a Santa Fe salad, a vegetarian Santa Fe salad with this, with the greens I harvest today. And I'll share that recipe with you later. Though this red lettuce is still alive, which is great, the red lettuce we're growing in the hoop house is actually thriving and may even still be growing, which is really good for this time of the year. And we'll retire this bed soon for the winter and I'll remove the plastic and let, just let it get covered with snow. Now let's work our way to the back of the garden where the beds get more sun. I'll start here with this double layered hinge low tunnel. Okay, all of the crops in this bed are very cold hardy and will have no trouble surviving under two layers of cover this winter, even with limited sun. But there's one exception. This giant Ford Hook Swiss chard is clearly stressed. So again, focusing on the more vulnerable plants, I'll go ahead and harvest all of the large leaves from this plant. The rest of the crops in this bed, including kale, spinach, and mosh, are very cold hardy and they'll have no trouble at all surviving the winter. Oscar, I need to close this low tunnel, buddy. You need to get out. Time to get out, bud. Come on. I now have two bowls almost full of greens, but I'm going to keep harvesting because I want enough to last us at least a few days. Now this next bed gets a little bit of sun and it has some very cold hardy crops in it, but only one layer of protection. So because of the limited protection, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these plants a little more aggressively. Excuse me, Oscar. You gonna help? Okay, the kale in here is looking good. The green lettuce looks a little stressed, but once again, the red lettuce looks fantastic. So let's harvest some of this kale. Not too much. My wife doesn't want me to pick too much of this. It's her favorite. She wants it to continue into the spring. Some of this green kale. Some 
green lettuce. A little bit stressed, but uh, still good. A little more kale. We also have some perpetual spinach back here, which is looking a little stressed. Let's go ahead and harvest a lot of that. And last but not least, let's harvest some of this beautiful red lettuce, which is doing very well still, despite the cold. Again, we have this growing in the hoop house, and it's doing very well in the hoop house. Much better than this. Here comes Oscar. Are you going to get in the shot? You gonna get in the shot? Just out of camera. Being a little shy today. Okay, that should do it for now. I could also harvest some sunchokes and carrots today, but the recipe I'm making doesn't call for them. So I think I'll finish up today's harvest with spinach and then some greens from the hoop house. Okay, my next stop is our little cold frame of red kitten spinach. Okay, this spinach is looking a little more stressed than I expected it would. I've got it in just a cold frame with a single layer of cover. So I'm thinking maybe I'll add a second layer to give it a little more protection this winter. And I'll harvest just a little bit today. Despite the fact that it's a little stressed, I also see new growth right here and also right here, which is a very promising sign. This should continue all the way through the spring. And now I'll return to the hoop house to finish today's harvest. Now if my goal today had been only to impress you, I would have done all of my harvesting back here in the hoop house where the plants are absolutely stunning. But I wanted to show you how I focus my harvest on the most vulnerable plants in winter. And this way, all these crops back here, which are still thriving and will continue to thrive for months to come, I'll have them to harvest this winter. Let's get some of these mustards and collards too. Just a little bit. This one's been eaten by a bug. I'll get that one. And we'll leave everything else for this winter. And here's a look at today's mid-December harvest. I hope you enjoyed joining me today. I'll be back through the winter with more harvest videos to give you a better idea of what we can harvest here under double cover in zone 5. And if you hold on for just a moment, I'll be back to show you what I made with today's harvest. As promised, here's a look at the Santa Fe salad I made with today's harvest. I adapted this recipe from a salad made by my favorite local vegetarian restaurant. To make the salad, I start with a thin layer of traditional tortilla chips on the bottom of the plate. I pile on a nice mound of chopped mixed greens. I've got some onions from the garden, peas, corn, black beans, and avocado. And then on top, I top it off with some vegetarian barbecue and some cheddar cheese. I also add some salad dressing, and of course you can modify the recipe if you're not a vegetarian or if you're a vegan. If you'd like to try making this salad, please see the link in the description below to the recipe. Well, I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to get inside and eat this salad. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to.